Preparations for this year's Chilean Day celebrations, which falls on January 15th every year, are said to be at an advanced stage. Well, 2015 marks 100 years since the Chilean uprising. This day is very significant uh, to Malawi because uh, we are celebrating 100 years after the death of uh, John Chilembe, whom you know is a hero. He is one who was fighting for the freedom of all Malawians. Uh, so it's very significant uh, because that's a day that we need to celebrate the life of a hero, and that hero is John Chirambe. And now you, we, we look at this uh, site, for instance, here at PIM, the headquarters of this place, very historical. But maybe there hasn't been much done to develop maybe this place to look like a very memorial place with a figure like John Chilembe, who is very influential to the freedom of Malawi. Mm -hmm. Tell us, what, are, what would be your suggestions, for instance, to say if we were to make this place better? Yeah, um, I think that is a very good question. I'm saying this because, indeed, this place should have been developed to show that uh, it's a historical place. It's a place where the hero, the one who was fighting for the freedom of Malawians, uh, it should have been well developed. We should have had perhaps a, uh, a proper school, maybe a proper uh, maybe museum, uh, where we should have uh, maybe all the history of John Chirembe, the books uh, that read all the history about this place should have been there, so that uh, the young ones, uh, like you and me, and also the ones that are coming, they should be able to come and read about John Chilembe, what, were, what was his vision, what he did, uh, and how was the struggle. Because only, you, you, you also know that you only hear about John Chilembe on the 15th January, on the radio, and that program, that which we all know. Yeah. But I thought you should have gone beyond that. Beyond the radio play. Yeah, beyond the radio play. And actually this place should have been a place where a place where people should have been coming as part of uh, tourism. So indeed I would want to agree with you that uh, maybe we would have, we would have done better. Both as Malawians uh, and also even as government because it's a historical place. And actually when you go out uh, in other countries you find that a place like this, you find that uh, that's people go there. Actually even government is making money or even uh, within the country is making money uh, because of tourism. People are coming to see uh, a historical place like this one. So I agree with you, uh, maybe something has to be done. And I'm sure uh, as chair of Friends of Johnny Chirembe, this is an issue that perhaps we needed to, to discuss and see what needs to be done. Now let's talk about this event on the 15th of January knowing that it, this marks a hundred years since the work of John Chilebe, how special is this year and these celebrations? Uh, this year is special. As I've said, um, it's and maybe unlike the other years, because this is, we are, we are celebrating hundred years. It's, it's a centenary celebration. It's a unique uh, celebration. I, I know every year we have been coming here to celebrate, but this one is more special because it's a time that we need uh, maybe to look back uh, what Chilembe did, what was his vision, are we, as, as now as Malawians, are we trying to achieve what Chilembe wanted? Eh? Um, of course we are free, that's what he wanted, he wanted Malawi to be free, to be democratic as we are today, but I'm sure it goes beyond that. Uh, and also as for the church, you know that he started Providence Industrial Mission, uh, Industrial Mission, perhaps it's for, it's for his church as well to think about uh, about young children, what was his vision? Are we achieving the same? Because it's not only the responsibility of all Malawians, but also the church and all other stakeholders. Uh, we need to see what needs to be done at this place.